Today I'm gonna connect three things. People, cities, and opportunities. The thing is, we live in cities full of these tall vertical buildings, full of people, full of density, but we still seem to lack interactions and meaningful encounters. So we're basically living in these tall uh, vertical suburbs that lack you know, the vibrancy, the creative stimulation, and the walkability of real neighborhoods. So basically they lack beauty, variety, and flow. And when these three ingredients don't exist, it leads to uh, urban loneliness or limited social circumferences. And this is not a good thing. But not all the cities like this. There are some sections that are full of liveliness, full of a multiplicity of choices, activities, people, all kinds of great things. And in these areas is where serendipity is rich. You know, you can come across all kinds of amazing interactions and random collisions uh, with unusual suspects and also like-minded people. And that's where some serendipity actually happens, or what I like to call um, unexpected relevance. So unfortunately, I grew up in an area that was a massive government housing project, um, underserved, economically starved. And so serendipity was virtually non-existent. I couldn't come across it, even if I tried to. And I wasn't going to wait for the city you know, to come rejuvenate my, my neighborhood. You know, it's, it doesn't work like that. It's not easy to rejuvenate concrete jungles. So I had to make my own luck. And my only strategy was to leave the neighborhood, so to go explore other places. And that's what I did. And I mainly went to downtown. It was just amazing. It was a massive energy shift as soon as I came to downtown, full of people, amazing interactions. I just never knew what I was going to run into or what kinds of interesting people I was going to meet. And in the process over the years, by doing this, uh, you know, I came across many great interesting people and interesting opportunities. And it was a lot of fun. So I came to realize that opportunities are not something that float up in the sky with the clouds. Opportunities flow through people. So when we're looking for opportunities, what we're really looking for is a person or a bunch of cool people. And you see, serendipity isn't this magical thing that we make it out to be. It's basically putting yourselves in the path or in locations where the people that you want to be like usually hang out or putting yourself where, where unexpected things are more frequent. And then it's all about just connecting and connecting the dots. You have to be willing to do that. And that's what serendipity really is. And you can be, once you understand this, you can be deliberate about serendipity. You can plan serendipity, and it's a lot of fun. And this is what I've been doing. So today I can't talk about technology, which is another aspect and a major serendipity engine. But today I'm just here to say the simple message that if you do this, you can up the odds of, of your opportunities. And all you have to do is explore interesting places, explore different places, uh, meet new people, be interested and be interesting, and I can guarantee you that more opportunities will come your way. And you see, I'm 27 years old today. I'm an entrepreneur. I have my own business. I travel the world. And this is really a dream come true for me, especially when not too long ago I was labeled a not at-risk youth. You know, so if I could tap into you know, the, the peoplescape and hack into the peoplescape of cities to gain greater opportunities, then anybody can do this. Go for it. Thank you.